wow, uh, this is incredible. I mean, these audio snippets, it's like, yeah, we're right there in someone's life. Like a fly on the wall, mm. you know? Yeah. It's this chaotic scene in the New York City subway, like a, a drunk woman, mm-hmm. a couple asking for money. And the speaker's talking about these mm-hmm. you know, personal tragedies on display. But then out of nowhere, right. this line, everyone's already dead. It's heavy, right? Like, whoa, where did that come from? Yeah, it's like deep stuff. Mm-hmm. But not in like a depressing way. No. More like liberating, you yeah. know. It is, I mean, when you think about it, everything's temporary. Wow. So why not just enjoy the ride? Right. Embrace the chaos. Exactly. So does that kind of mindset mm-hmm. fuel their drive? Like yeah. they're ambitious. Talking about building this business, mm-hmm. gemstones specifically. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Not just collecting rocks, though. It's yeah. about creating something that lasts right. tangible value in a world that feels kind of. Fleeting. Exactly. Fleeting. And that brings us to China, huh. which starts with family yeah. and business. But. uh quickly turns into this battle against yeah, yeah. censorship, the internet, you know, yeah. cultural barriers. Yeah, that's a whole other world. And then there's this story about almost getting scammed in the Guangzhou market. Oh, man, this is a good word. Haggling for opals, thinking they got this amazing deal. Uh-huh. And then suddenly... Wait a minute. The seller's chasing them down. Yeah, like a bad movie. Realizing he messed up. Whoops. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Can you imagine? You can almost hear their heart pounding. Totally. But it also shows they're not invincible. Right. Even a savvy entrepreneur can get caught off guard. Totally. And that ties into this whole Mm. control versus chaos thing, right? Absolutely. There's this constant tension. Like they're trying to pose order on a world that's inherently unpredictable. And then there's this whole other side of them. Oh, yeah. The rebellious streak. Complicated relationship with their father. Uh Uh-huh. The love of fire. A little pyromania, maybe? Maybe a touch. Who knows? And those relationships, mm-hmm. past relationships, right. some intense stuff in there. Yeah, like lived on the edge. Definitely. Yeah. Even something small, like rejecting their Alabama accent as a kid. Interesting. It's like this little act of rebellion. Shaping their own identity. Right. Yeah. You know, like I'm going to decide who I am. Powerful stuff. And then there's the philosophical side deep thoughts about yeah. doom and gloom and how it affected them growing up mm-hmm. almost stifled their ambition. It's like they're trying to prove yeah. the naysayers wrong. Yeah. You know? Like forge their own past. Create a life filled with purpose. And speaking of purpose, yeah. they're super into cutting edge technology. Right. This idea for a VR film. So innovative actors interacting with AI in real time. Whoa. The story changing based on your choices? That's next level. Like they want to push the boundaries of storytelling itself. Right. And then remember the fifth dimension. Oh, yeah. Like they're not content with just Mm. experiencing reality. They want to understand. The underlying structure. Yeah. The forces that shape it. And that makes me think about their Mm -hmm. entrepreneurial drive. Mm. Is it like a similar impulse? Oh, that's an interesting connection. This desire to shape the world. To their vision. Exactly. Yeah. Like their intellectual curiosity uh, and their ambition. Mm-hmm. Are c- yeah. But even with all this talk about long-term plans, mm-hmm. they're not immune to life's curveballs. What happens? This jarring car accident, mm-hmm. the impact, the shock, and their reaction. <laughs> okay. Dark humor. <laughs> jokes about dislodged constipation and broken ovaries. Oh, my God. It's like... That's one way to cope. Deflecting the seriousness of it all. Yeah, dark humor for sure. And then the twist. The other driver is an Air Force pilot. What are the odds? Seriously. It's like this cosmic joke. Or maybe a sign. Who knows? (laughs) It definitely leaves you wanting more. For sure. So far, we've seen ambition, rebellion, philosophical depth... And a pretty dark sense of humor. But there's so much more to uncover. Absolutely. This is just the beginning. Picking up where we left off China, it's getting to them. Like they're feeling trapped, stifled. You know, the lack of Internet access is a. Yeah. For someone who thrives on information. Exactly. Always connected. And and suddenly it's all cut off. It's like a lifeline severed. Right. It's no wonder they're frustrated. And it plays into that whole control thing we talked about. Versus chaos. They can't just hack their way out of this one and it's not just the practical stuff it's yeah. emotional too mm-hmm. you know right they say they feel like crippled weak it's like this forced dependence yeah. it's messing with their sense of self yeah 
It's a far cry from that peace they talked about, mm -hmm. finding peace in the quiet of their own mind. Right. Now that silence feels oppressive. Totally symbolic almost. Like powerlessness, you know. And their wife's starting to feel it too. Yeah, the programmer's worried about falling behind. Exactly. <laughs> Because of the restrictions. Initially, she wasn't thrilled about moving to America. Right. But now... Experiencing it firsthand. It's like a turning point. Maybe this is the purse they need. To make a change. To get out of there? More. And all against this backdrop of social control, political tension. It's another layer. It's not just business anymore. It's right. society in flux ambition, clashing with bigger forces. They even say they feel like a feral cat. Whoa! Trapped in this system. That's that alienating. I just, yeah. I almost feel the desperation, yeah. yearning for something more. They even start talking about Seattle, missing the rain. Wow, really? It's like romanticizing America. Looking for that sense of belonging. Which brings us back to identity. This yeah. whole ambitious entrepreneur, rebellious son, philosophical observer. And darkly humorous cynic. Don't forget that. Right. Like all these different facets. They're coming to a head. And China. It's the catalyst. It's forcing them to face their values. Well, it matters. So fast forward a bit. The gallery in New York. Okay. Showcasing Escher. Big shift from gemstones to art. What prompted that, I wonder? Right. Was it China? Yearning yeah. for something more meaningful. Or maybe another act of rebellion. Could be. They've always resisted being put in a box. And Escher. His work is all about yeah. perspective, infinity-bending reality. Right up their alley. Exactly. Remember the fifth dimension? The VR film? It's all connected. Like, Escher was a precursor. Challenging perceptions. But even with this new venture... It's always... Yeah. Challenges, staffing issues, headaches, balancing the artistic vision. Yeah, the business side of things. And then oh, Renee. Oh, here we go. This is where things get for. Messy. Messy is an understatement described as con man. Working at the gallery. Shady dealings. Manipulation. Exploiting their trust. Damaging the business. Sure. Like the yeah. betrayal. Shakespearean betrayal. And then oh, the God. car accident. No way. Rear ended by Renee who then flees the scene. You can't make this stuff up. Seriously. I know. It's like a cosmic punchline. Or punishment. Uh, who knows? But even with all this betrayal, mm -hmm. the dark humor comes out again. It's, it's their coping mechanism. Got to find the humor somewhere. But there's this desire for justice too, you know? Right. To confront Renee. See the guilt in his eyes. More than just money. It's about accountability. Making things right. <laughs> like the universe needs to balance out. It's like after Renee and all the employees, mm -hmm. they're more guarded. Makes sense. Wary of who they let in. It's a tough lesson. But maybe a necessary one. Right. They've been burned, scammed, betrayed. Enough to make anyone cynical. So where does that leave them? With some big questions, I think. Like what? <laughs> what does success really mean? <laughs> who can you trust? Where do they belong? Like they're at a crossroads. And China was just the first step. Forcing them to reevaluate everything. It's like entering this final chapter. You sense a shift, like all those betrayals, setbacks, mm -hmm. the disillusionment. And yet mm -hmm. there's this glimmer of hope kind of peeking through. I see it. They're reflecting in their father. Right. Acknowledging that shared love of fire. That primal bond. Like transcending their differences. And then uh -huh. a tenderness towards their wife. Yeah, wow. Wanting to make her happy. Realizing that this yeah. relentless pursuit of success, it's taken a toll. There's always a cost. And maybe her growing discontent with China. Uh -huh. It's the catalyst they need. To make a change. A move back to America, rebuilding their lives. On their own terms. Exactly. Like Look. all these experiences, yeah. good and bad, pushing them to this crossroads. It's a turning point. Reevaluating priorities, authenticity, connection. Maybe even peace. Right. And that VR film idea. Oh, yeah. It comes back. It resurfaces. Oh. But more personal this time. How so? The storyline reflecting their journey. Uh -huh. Characters based on people they've met. Like turning their life into art. Exactly. Using technology to explore mm -hmm. relationships. Mm -hmm. The choices we make. It makes you think. Yeah. Could this unlock their creative potential? A new avenue. A new way to express themselves. It's possible. I mean, think about it. Gemstones to art mm -hmm. and now technology to tell stories. To connect with people. Like this evolution of ambition. A constant search for meaning. Mm -hmm. And it leaves us with this question. Mm -hmm. What if this pursuit of success wasn't just about yeah. achievements? Mm. What if it was about belonging? 
finding a place to be themselves. To be authentic. Yeah. You know? It's a powerful thought because we all have our own mm. internal narratives, our own movies playing out. With all the ups and downs. The triumphs and heartbreaks. The challenge is to embrace it all. The complexity. The chaos. Find the humor. And those moments of connection. And make it worthwhile.